Grade 7 Math number 5.1b, finding a percent decrease. We just used the equation, percent change equals the amount of change over the original amount, to find a percent increase. When the change in the amount decreases, it's a similar solution. We use the same equation. So that's enough for you. We're done. If not, keep watching. Percent decrease describes how much a quantity decreases compared to its original amount. This is very useful when shopping for sale items. We compare an old amount to a new lower decreased amount to find the difference in percentage. What if it said a dress was $89 and it was marked down to 51 and you want to find out what the percentage of the sale was? So you find the percent change from 89 to 51. And as before with increases, we find the difference. We take 89 and we subtract 51 and we get 38. We use the same equation as increases. Percent change equals the amount of change over the original amount. And then this is a division problem, isn't it? So here's our percent change. Here's our difference. The amount of change, 38. The old amount is $89. And we divide. 89 goes into 38. And we have to add a decimal point and some zeros to that 38 because he's not big enough, is he? We put the decimal point straight up. That's where he belongs, right? And we say 89 can't go into 38, but it can go into 380, can't it? We do a little math on the side, and we can see 89 times 4 is 356. That's just about right. So we put our 4 up here. 89 times 4 is 356. We do our subtraction and get a 24, and then drop that 0 down. And 89 can go into 240, oh, two times, 178. So put our 2 up here, put our 178 here. We subtract, it gets 62. At, drop our other zero here, and now 89 goes into 620. Well, 89 times 7 is 623, so we just missed it. So we got to go back one. So we do it by 6, and it's 330. It's 534, I'm sorry. So 534 is subtracted, and we get an 86. Well, we're looking for a percent, so we don't want to go too far away from that decimal point, do we? Because it means hundredths, and we're now in the thousands. So we can stop here. We got a 0.426. And we needed to go to this third one because we saw that the division kept going and we need to round this number. We can't round this number unless we've got a third number to round that one too, right? So now we've got 0.426. We've got to round it off and write it as a percentage. The 6 tells the 2 to become a 3. And then when his job is done, he goes away, doesn't he? So now it's a 0.43. But it's not an exact 0.43 because we had a 6 there. So we have to use an approximation sign instead of an equal sign. 0.43 means 43 hundredths, so our answer is 43% decrease. So remember to pay attention to the numbers in the problem to see if they're increasing or decreasing, because we're using the same formula, the same equation, all right? You want to label your problem that it was a decrease, not an increase. So find the percent decrease from 168 to 126, because well, we can see this is a bigger number. We see it's decreasing, okay? Subtract to find the difference. 168 minus 126 is 42. The percent change is the amount over the amount of change over the original amount, right? So we plug this 42 in as the amount of change. Here's our original amount, the 168. We divide, and that's going to give us the percent change. So 168 goes into 42 how many times? Well, it can't. So we have to add a decimal point and some zeros, don't we? Decimal point goes straight up. 168 can't go into 42, but it can go into 420, can't it? And we do a little multiplication on the side and see that 2 would fit. That's 336. We subtract it from the 420 and get 84. Drop a 0 down to help the 168 go into it. Now i got 840. And I tried 168 times 4, and it was really small. So I tried 168 by 5, and look, it was 840. It was perfect. So... It ends up being a zero, doesn't it? So we know it's 0.25, and 0.25 is 25 hundredths, or 25% decrease. So maybe it was a dress, and it got marked off 25% on the sale rack, and now it's only $126. So because we use that same method to find the increase or decrease, we need to pay close attention to the numbers in the problem. If you see 85 is going to 51, then we know it's a decrease in price. And if you see it's 75 going to 126, we know it's an increase in price. You could get caught up on that in a math problem. It'll say, is it an increase or decrease? So just look at which way the numbers are going. Are they getting bigger or are they getting littler? Okay, that's all. We're going to talk about how to 
uh, use a percent of change in the next video. That's going to be 51C. And if you feel like I'm helpful and you're doing okay and you'd like to support Joanne's school, you can go to patreon.com and become a monthly patron of Joanne's school for about a dollar a month. And that'll really help me out. I'll see you next video. We'll keep going. You're going to do fine. Bye.